Hi, I'm His Lordship, the founder of the Wilderness Guardians, and welcome back to RuneScape Recipes. In this series, we aim to bring to life some of the game's most iconic dishes. And today in episode 5, we'll be recreating the baguette from the Sandwich Lady. The baguette was introduced into the game on the 10th of January 2006, and is well known to players of all different levels because it appears as a random event. Now let's talk about baguettes for a minute. In order for me to justify calling this a RuneScape recipe, I somehow have to differ it from a baguette that you could buy in a supermarket. The problem is, the recipe for bread hasn't changed very much in the last few thousand years since the ancient Egyptians. So what then can I do? Well, looking at the recipe in the game, I don't get many clues. With bread, it's just flour and water, and the sandwich lady certainly doesn't teach us how to make a baguette. So I had to look online for some other medieval bread recipes, and I noted that they used a variety of grains and not just wheat. Wheat was actually reserved for the richest uh, and wealthiest in medieval society. Now, while I will be using wheat flour in this recipe, I'll also be sprinkling a little bit of cornmeal over the baguette to give it a grainier taste. Uh, that might allow it to resemble a medieval tasting bread a little bit more closely. To make the baguettes, you will need one and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast, 50 mils of warm water, three and a third cups of plain flour, two teaspoons of kosher salt, two and a quarter cups of cool water, two tablespoons of honey, and two tablespoons of cornmeal. In a small bowl, mix the yeast and the warm water. In a larger bowl, combine the flour and the salt and hand mix. Stir in the dissolved yeast, then add the cool water a little at a time while stirring, until a stiff, shaggy dough has formed. Leave covered for 30 minutes. Work the honey into the dough, and then cover and leave in a warm place for one to two hours until the dough has doubled in size. Divide the dough into four equal portions and shape each into a long loaf, about 40 centimeters long and four centimeters in diameter with pointed ends. Place the loaves on a floured cloth, cover with oiled plastic wrap and allow to rise another 45 minutes. While the dough is rising, preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 230 degrees Celsius. Place a sheet of baking paper over reinforced tin foil or a large baking tray and transfer the loaves. Sprinkle cornmeal over each loaf and then score the top with a knife. Place the loaves on the top two trays of your oven and at the bottom place a pan of water. The steam will allow the bread to become crusty. Bake until golden brown approximately 30 to 40 minutes. Now surely you know a hundred ways to enjoy this bread, but today we're going to be making a baked camembert to accompany it. You will need a 250 gram camembert, some extra virgin olive oil, one clove of garlic, a few rosemary tips, a handful of assorted nuts and dried cranberries, and some salt. Carefully slice the top half centimeter off the camembert. Thinly slice one clove of peeled garlic. Press the slices into the camembert, followed by the rosemary tips. Lightly drizzle the cheese with some olive oil and then season with salt. Then place in the oven and bake for 15 to 20 minutes. While the cheese is baking, 
roughly chop the nuts and cranberries and place in a ramekin for serving. Now let's talk about drink pairings. At the end of the day, we're just baking bread. You can drink whatever you like. But if you want the bread to be the star of the show, because you've put in all of this effort into making it, you would want a light drink to accompany it. For beer, I recommend something like Hefeweizen. Now this particular one that I'm drinking by Tuatara has a slightly tart finish, but it's not overbearing and it's not particularly hoppy. So you could drink this without numbing your taste buds to the bread. Now, if you prefer to pair with a wine, I recommend a Pinot Grigio like the one I have here, which generally have fruitier flavors to them and they're not too sweet either. So they're perfect for a crusty white bread. Voila, you have the sandwich ladies baguette. Bon appétit. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. As I'm sure you can tell, these videos do take a lot of effort and in order for them to continue, they rely on your ongoing support. So please do subscribe and share with your friends. And if you'd like to vote on what I should cook next, please head over to the Wilderness Guardians Forum where you can vote in the monthly poll.